Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Crafty Kathy, and I'm so happy and thankful that you stopped in to craft and spend a little time with me today. This week, I was trying to think of a fun little video to do, and I was walking the aisles at the Dollar Tree, and I came across their vases, and there's nothing like Christmas time with all the lights down low and some beautiful vases sitting out. And so I decided to do a couple of vase ideas for you guys, and I hope you like them. Let's jump in. I used my Cricut to create this beautiful silhouette picture of a snowman, Santa, and reindeer, and a few little Christmas trees. We're gonna put this on the front of some Dollar Tree vases. Now, I'm pretty sure that these are the smallest vase that they make at Dollar Tree. They make three different sizes, and to be exact, this one is 7.3 inches tall. I cleaned up my vases real good with some rubbing alcohol and then I laid my vase on its side and I put something on each side of it so it wouldn't go rolling around and wobbling around on my table and I'm just going to pull my stencil off on that little tape that you use when you put a Cricut picture down and we are going to place it right in the center of each of our vases. Then all you do is peel up that tape and it's gonna leave us with this beautiful silhouette stencil. And the reason why I use the pink color is simply because I didn't want to use a color that I use often, even though I don't use my Cricut often because I know that a lot of you guys don't have Cricuts. But I wanted to use a color that's not something that I would use every day and that's why I chose the pink color. Now you don't have to have a Cricut to do this particular craft. You know, you could print out something on your inkjet printer and just use black ink and you can use that as your silhouette picture. Just like a pull up a silhouette, like Christmas silhouettes or something of that nature, whatever you're looking for. I'm just gonna use my little dauber here that I got from Dollar Tree, and I have the color beadboard, which is DIY paint. That's the best paint in the world. It's clay-based, so you don't have to worry about it chipping or coming off of your glass. And to me, it's one of the best paints that you can use on glass like this, because since it's clay-based, it can stick to anything. I believe this stuff could probably stick to, to snot, to be honest with you. I know that's kind of gross to say, but hey, I'm Southern. I just say the first thing that comes to my mind, and that's just a saying that we use. So, I'm going to go all around my vase with my little dauber. I'm even going to go all over the front of that picture. And I want to take just a minute to welcome each and every one of y'all here. I am so glad that you came my way, whatever brought you this way, whether you're one of my subscribers that watches every video, or if you just stopped in here because you were wondering about my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I would love it if you would subscribe and become a part of our family. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out on YouTube. Now that I have this pretty good and covered, doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to roll on to the next step. I tried to make every single DIY in this video so simple that even a beginner could feel confident about doing these. Sometimes it's the simplest ones that turn out to be the prettiest, especially when you pop a candle in these. Just wait to see what this looks like. This is my favorite glitter. It's called Sue Lynn Fine Glitter. And I get this off of Amazon. I leave it down below in my Amazon store. It's only about $4. And at Christmas time, I use a lot of this stuff. Usually I go through a whole bottle every Christmas. Now, the holidays are a perfect reason for me to pull out the glitter. During the rest of the year, I'm not a big glitter person, but there's something so beautiful and nostalgic to me whenever I have all the lights off and I have all my, my candles lit and it's Christmas and you just have that beautiful glittery glow. It just does something to my sweet little Southern heart. 
but I'm going to go all around these, and I'm just kind of shaking it on, just kind of like I'm putting pepper on something. I'm quickly going to go over both of these vases, and I always put down like a piece of wax paper or something, because that way, whenever I'm finished, I can just undo the lid to my glitter, roll up my wax paper, and slide what's left over back in there. Because you will see as I get going on these Christmas crafts, guys, I use a lot of it. Now, I told a few people that I was going to try to do another fall video, but time just got away from me. I am going to try to do a Thanksgiving video in the next few weeks. It's just there's been so much going on in my family, and I don't want to bore you with all the details, but it's a lot. So here I'm going, covering up the second one, and I did the same as I did with the first one. I'm not going to make you watch me cover this in my gorgeous glitter. Now, I left these vases alone and let them dry overnight. And just as I started to try to get that stencil off there, I remembered the reason why I have always taken the stencils off while the paint's still wet. Some people swear by doing it while the paint's still wet, Others swear by doing it, you know, when the paint's dry. But I'm going to tell you what. I had put that glitter on top of the paint, and I like to have never gotten these doggone stencils off of here. I am very impatient as it is, and I'm not even joking with you when I tell you it took me at least 10 minutes on each of these vases to take it off there. Like I said, I think that it's because I put that layer of glitter on the top, but it's also because the stencil that I created is kind of small, and it had a few intricate pieces that were very small, so I had to be careful, or I was going to mess it up, and it wasn't going to look good. But anyways, long story short, uh, after pulling out my hair, I finally got the whole thing off of there. Now, that's all there was to this first DIY. Now, I am going to tell you that I grabbed two of those small candlesticks that are out at the Dollar Tree right now, and I placed these vases on top of those. However, they look just as beautiful if you don't use those and just set them out as they are. But I really think that the candlesticks takes it up a notch. Now, for the second DIY, I was so happy to find these large vases for five bucks at the Dollar Tree the other day. They also have one that's just like this one. It's a wee bit smaller, and it's three dollars. These look just like the ones that I saw at Kirkland's and Pottery Barn the other day. I think these are gorgeous, and five dollars is a great deal. I'm going to use these three little bottle brush trees. I get these at the Dollar General for just a dollar for the three, and I think they're really nice looking. I found this little wreath. I'm not really sure where this came from. I think it's one that I get every year in a pack of about six from the Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to cut the little tag off of it. I'm simply going to glue this wreath right in the center of that largest Christmas tree. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is glue my trees down to the bottom of this. And here in a moment, you'll see why. I'm going to glue the largest tree at the very back and then just hold on to it a moment so it'll have enough time to dry. And then I'm going to put one of the smaller trees, one on each side of the larger one. Now, I have these gorgeous little resin deer. I got these off of Timu last year. And I have the mama, and then I have this sweet little baby. All I'm going to do is just add enough glue on each of the antlers where that it will hold on there when I stick it on. Now, another thing that I like to do every Christmas 
is get some of those little bubble beads. I know that they have a different name, but I cannot remember it. I will leave this in my Amazon store because that's where I get mine from. I think they're called super beads, maybe. You literally just soak them in water and they swell up. And they are so beautiful and elegant in any type of vase at Christmas time. Now, I'm just going to fill this up enough to where it's going to cover all of the scene that I have in here. And the next thing that you're going to do is just grab some water and you're going to fill it up all the way to the top if you want. But I left about two or three inches from the top. And you can see when I start to add the water, how those bubbles just become so clear and you can see the picture inside or the scene inside. Now I'm just gonna add some floating candles to the top. And these floating candles are from Amazon also and they work whenever the water hits them. I leave the link for all this stuff that I get off of Amazon down below. It's in my Amazon store. I tried my darndest to fit three candles in there, but only two would fit. But look how beautiful this turned out, and it was so simple. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat. The last one is probably the simplest of all these DIYs, which they've all been super simple. This is the smallest fishbowl vase from the Dollar Tree. It's very small. And I had ordered these little snowman faces. I got these off of Timu. And I will try to go back and find them and link them down below. I just set my paint cans on each side of the vase so that I could stabilize it and it wouldn't go wobbling around. And I found the face that I wanted. I'm simply just going to peel it off and stick it on. And if I'm not mistaken, these little faces was just maybe around $2. They were very inexpensive and so cute. You can put them on so many different things to make your little snowman face. So after I went through and got the face situated exactly how I wanted it, I was gonna add the little Frosty the Snowman corn cob pipe, but to me, it just didn't look right. It looked so much better without it. So after I got the face on, the very next step is to grab some Mod Podge. It doesn't matter what kind you use. This one is the Satin Mod Podge, just for reference. I'm going to pour a little bit in here, and I actually poured a little bit too much. And all I'm going to do is use a paintbrush and apply this to all the sides. You don't have to be particular about this. You can be as messy as you want to be. It honestly does not matter as long as you get it all the way up around the sides. Then we're going to pull out the fake snow. This is the snow that you get from the Dollar Tree. And we are simply just going to sprinkle this inside. You can put as much or as little as you like. Now, remember that the Mod Podge is going to dry pretty much clear. So what you're going to be left with looking at is that beautiful fake snow. That sounded crazy. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that Sue Lynn Diamond Glitter again, just for a little extra glitz. And I'm just going to kind of turn the vase around so that I can get it in there really good. Then I left my little fish bowl snowman alone overnight so that he could dry really well. I got this little mold off of, I think, Amazon last Christmas, and it's just little holly leaves or holly berries in the leaves. There's three different sizes, and I'm going to paint it with Salty Kiss. This is a DIY paint, and by the way, if you guys ever want to try out the DIY paint, my friend Lori over at Milton's Daughter is who you need to see. She is the sweetest person in the world, and you guys would absolutely fall in love with her. 
She also sells all of the IOD products that you see me use and the Pentart products, the rice papers that I use, a lot of the things that I use on my channel, I get from Milton's daughter. Now, this color Salty Kiss is just a beautiful, vibrant green. And remember, since the DIY paint is clay-based, when it dries, it is actually kind of like a lighter color than when you put it on. So, I ended up putting two coats on this so I could get it just a wee bit darker. Then I grabbed the beautiful red color called Carnival Red. Now it's a really bright, vibrant red, perfect for my holly berries. And I'm just gonna go over those in the center really quick. Over the years, I've had 2,000 million of those little snowman hats from the Dollar Tree and can't find a single one. So I ended up finding this little hat that was actually part of a dog costume for my pug. It had pigtails on it. So I pulled the pigtails off, painted the hat black, and I'm gonna use this red velvet. I got this off of Amazon last year. I had I maybe about 20 different colors of velvet ribbons and they are so beautiful. I think these are gorgeous for Christmas time. And I'm just gonna go around the brim of the hat and I'm just gonna put glue every little bit so that it will turn into a snowman hat. Then I'm gonna take the little holly leaves and berry that I did just a moment ago, put just a little bit of hot glue on the back and I'm gonna place it right in the center of my little hat. Now, voila, it turned into a cute little snowman hat. And then I did a quick dry run just to make sure that it was gonna look good on his head. Now, I am not going to glue this to his head because my next plan is to grab some of my fairy lights that I get from Amazon, and they're linked down below too, and I'm just going to take these and kind of wrap them around my hand a few times so that it will be in kind of like a circular pattern. And then I'm just gonna place these right inside my little snowman. Then I stuck his hat back on and placed him on one of those little Dollar Tree candle holders also. And this turned out so cute. I'm definitely gonna go back and make another one, but that one's gonna be a little girl. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and spending a little time and crafting with me. I'm so glad that each one of y'all came. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button and become a part of our family. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out on YouTube. And don't forget to let me know which one of these was your favorite. Don't forget that my videos come out every Monday and Thursday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I'll see you back here next time, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Did you know that if you're on a phone or a tablet, you can click on my face right here and be subscribed to my channel? You sure can. Also, if you did enjoy this video, here's another one that you can just hit and it'll take you there in a second when this one's finished. See you soon.